All right, guys, today we're playing Looking for Heals. It's an action roguelike inspired by MMO healing mechanics. So basically, you work as a healer and shield and resurrect your party through procedural dungeons. I personally haven't played a lot of MMO games, not for a long time anyway, but uh, this is new on Steam. This came out March 25th, and price-wise, you're looking at 919 Canadian, which is quite inexpensive. So we'll give this some gameplay just to give you an idea whether or not this might be a good choice for you to add to your Steam library or not. <laughs> I'm alive! <laughs> I can't believe you found me here. You owe, I owe you my life. Now that you're around, I can finally finish these demons off once and for all. Since you know I can never die, let's do this! Alright, Bill. Now we're to just crash into everything. Oh, there we go, there's a demon. Alright, so... All I can do is walk up and heal the guy. You got this, just keep bringing me back whenever I croak and we'll make it through this. I see you finally made it down here. Not a bad job you did on a demon, though I've seen better. For myself, of course, how else do you think I ought to be in charge? I see your fearless demon managed to make it to work today. Here's your payment, you're welcome. Every time he dies. <laughs> That's amazing. So we other keys here. Let's resurrect. This up uh, is great now, but there's a little matter of dying is freaking painful. Lucky for me, for early fledged healing machine. Try keeping me alive from now and just click on your new spell to start using it. That's cool. The click to heal. E is resurrect. Yo, I'm taking you via crystal. I'll be there in person, but me and the commander are out strategizing. What a whopper, boss. That's the biggest fish yet. Oh, payment is going to be a little late this time. I'm sure you understand. It's kind of weird being a healer, you know, where you're not actually part of the action. I think you're there, but... So I'm going to go that way? Nope. So this game's supposed to be procedurally generated dungeons. I'm assuming this first mission's probably a little more scripted. Oh, you guys. Almost like you're playing with a party. So I don't know if I can actually get hurt. It's kind of fun actually not doing the combat part of it. The graphic style is certainly fine for this kind of game. I'm assuming we can probably use gold to buy upgrades or their party members. Oh, whoa.
That one seemed a bit harder. I'll add more guys to the team, but you have, seem to have it handled. Plus, that's more gold for me. Castles don't pay for themselves, you know. You guys are winning. Another guy. Let's resurrect him. Got three guys. Plus ourselves. Coming up on a big fighter or what? All fighters. So now that we're an elite kill squad, I'm thinking. I just perform better and we're not taking any damage whatsoever. So if you can turn to throw a shield up when one of us is about to get a snot kicked out of them. That'd be just great. Now let's finish this. Alright, so I'm assuming right click. Oh wait, I can click B2. Brock. Music's appropriate for this kind of game, too. A little bit of a mouse and button combination here. Cool that you're the little white mage too as the healer. Brings back like Final Fantasy vibes. Yeah. You know, I've been thinking. You've really been doing a lousy job working for me lately. There was that time you took on the demon with only a single fighter, and I'm pretty sure you complained when I couldn't pay you on time. It seems to me that you don't even want the loot I've been giving you. So let's be taking it back then. This isn't fair! You can't do that. That's very interesting because I just did. Let me tell you kids something. The whole guild runs because I'm running it. You would simply fall apart without me. I took your loot because if you don't want some of it, you don't want all of it. That doesn't even make sense. Does it look like I care? And you know what? Since you seem to be so unhappy with how I run things, I think it's best they find another guild to work at all. Or work at. You're fired. Boss fighter what? Where am I like?
Or Brock, I just keep getting killed. So it becomes a little bit of a button mashing fest here. Oh no, Brock. So basically you just gotta keep your guys alive so that they can finish the battle. In this case we have to get the dodge things different. And we can't heal faster than the enemy I don't think here. See we can get hurt either. Come on, guys, we can do this. That wasn't so hard. What was that? He just turned into a monster. Whoa. You feeling alright, healer? Healer, you look a little upset. I don't know how I could look upset with a face like that. Screw this. I'm starting my own guild. How hard could it really be? <laughs> Congratulations on your brand spanking new guild building. Well, you're freshly renovated and rented guild building at least. Woohoo! But don't worry, as your new landlord, I'll make sure you get everything you need to succeed in your future endeavors. Your guild applicants are waiting. Recruit four of these poor saps and get out there. Okay, I guess we'll recruit one of those guys. A marksman. Let's recruit two marksmen and two soldiers. All right, what else can we do? I've heard tales of raiding parties that were comprised only mages and wizards. They said they were trying to maximize their damage. Sounds like a risky formation to me. Okay. Is there anything else in this guild hall that we can do? Graphics are pretty flat. Which I mean, doesn't matter. Can't upgrade any. Alright, so then basically we're progressing through a map here. Okay, that refills our essence. And or. Oh, so you can't just let your guys die all the time. Mana potions, there's a map. You get gems to unlock items and spells and gold for buying items. Cool. Alright. Kinda neat that it's got different music. Oh, here's the fight. Oh, this vulture's tough, man. Oh. All right, so this will basically be a game where we work to build up our characters. There's no inventory. Oh, 
There's another fight. Oh. Really got that's oh, a bomber. He's shooting. Oh no. There's some essence. More fighters? To decide who you're fighting here. Uh oh. Oh no, are those eggs hatch? Money guys. Money, is there any point in actually attacking these guys? Kinda strange how the magic works here. I guess there's waves. I mean, I guess it's regular for MMO games. Levels, what's that? Oh, oh and they get to level up. Looks like it costs money. attention to that next time.
dead end. Stay alive. It's a C four. Okay, we're gonna upgrade one guy that doesn't have to level up here. Alright. So we're doing okay. The gold thing is on the map. We'll go check it out. Oh, I like a store. Literally, I have no money. All right. Wish my spell would last longer. Upgrade your healing spells at some point here. All right. All right. Choose your belt. Let's take Revive One Friday, revive them all. You completed one level of the dungeon, the area, or whatever you want to call it. It's too bad you can't.
Jesus, you can't get hurt in this game. This will be like every other rogue, like where you play, you die, you get better, you play. Oh, there we go. Smart picking archers. this thing doesn't scroll up more. Can't tell where things are. That must be the boss. that area. The future court is mine. Caps. Oh, I see. You go through a whole run. So maybe I'll stop it right here. So this has been Looking for Heels. It just came out on Steam March 25th. It's a roguelike action mmo inspired game where you play a healer and you basically are in charge of healing your party and uh helping them with your party through the dungeon or through the world you can collect items you can level up you can improve your guild and that kind of thing so it's really quite a fun adventure it's um only single player so that part maybe sucks a little bit but i mean so far the game's been pretty good it's simplistic in terms of there's really only three or four spells here that you can use but it makes up for that in terms of it's fun like i mean it's it's probably more of a casual game it is a little bit stressful i guess in terms of fighting larger fights and that kind of thing but all in all you know for the the eight dollars or seven what is it seven nineteen or something like that it is right now or sorry nine nineteen the regular price eleven fifty or nine ninety nine us 
Like, I mean, it's I think it's good value for your dollar. You get probably hours of gameplay. Um, maybe a little repetitive in terms of the simplistic uh, spells available to your healer, but I mean, otherwise, not too bad. And it is new, so I mean, there could be other updates and things in the future that improve on this gameplay. So let me know if you played looking for heals. I'd really like to know. And feel free to leave any comments in the comment section below. And otherwise, thank you for watching today. We'll catch you in the next video. Just on a side note here, after you died or perished in the dungeon, you get to come back to your guild and you can buy upgrades. There's more characters like the Berserker, Ice Wizard, Defender, other necromancer brutalizer beastmaster assassin there's other spells it looks like you can get and other item so i mean it's it's kind of neat in that respect there is some progression so anyway thank you for watching today again we will catch you in the next video